Mom, I'm home. Hi, Cheyenne. Ask me how my day was. Uh, how was your day? It was terrible. Now, ask me why. Can't we just skip to the part where you tell me what I did wrong? Have a seat, young lady. Let me turn my soap off. And then we can talk. Oh my gosh, you I must really be in trouble because you never turn your soap opera off when it's on. Well, this is a little more important. Okay, who are you and what have you done with my mother? Cheyenne, I'm serious. Okay, what's up? I got an email from your teacher. Which one? Your science teacher. Oh. I didn't do it. What didn't you do? I don't know. What did my teacher say? Your science grade is dropping. Oh, that. I'm sorry, Mom. Honey, I'm not asking for an apology. Why didn't you tell me you're having trouble in science? I don't know. I wasn't aware that I was having trouble. So you're telling me you had no idea you were having trouble in science? Did you ask for help? Mom, look, I'll try harder, okay? I promise. Don't make promises you can't keep. Mom, I'm serious. I'll try harder. I actually wanted to ask you something. Well, what's that? Well, my uh, friend... From school, she, her mother offered me a babysitting job. Okay. What did you tell her? I said I would do it, but I had to check with you first. Well, you're not going to take the job. You're going to stay home and study. Mom, look, if you let me take the job for a month, and if my grades don't, don't get any better, then I'll quit, okay? Please? Okay, fine. One month. Thanks, Mom. All right, well, go do your homework. Yes, Mom. What are the consequences of what I just done? Hey. Hey. You're not going to believe this. What? I finally got a job. You did? Yeah. This girl in school, her mother's looking for a babysitter. You're going to babysit somebody who's your age? No. I'm going to babysit her younger sister. Because my friend has cheerleading practice every day after school. So I'm going to babysit her younger sister. Well, that's good. Yeah, the only thing I have to do is improve my science grade. I could help you if you want. No offense, Melody, but I don't think you would understand what I'm learning in science. I'm 15 and you're 10. Yeah, I know. But that doesn't mean I'm not as smart as you. <sighs> Melody, I didn't mean it that way. I just meant, no, I understand. I shouldn't have been offended. It's whatever. But that offer to help you was still going to be there. Thanks, but I don't think I need help from a 10-year-old. Well, excuse me. Well, it's unfortunate she feels that way. I better get my homework done. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, Melody. Hey. Listen, is Mom home? No. Do you know when she'll be home? Not for a couple of hours. <sighs> Great. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just relieved that I could stay out of trouble for at least a couple of hours. Why? What did you do? Hey, Melody. What is she doing here? You know we can't have friends over when Mom's not home. Why don't you go hang out in your room? You mean our room? It's bad enough I have to share with you. You don't have to pretend you don't share a room with me. 
Just go to our room and hang out. Okay. <sighs> Finally, she's gone. You know, you don't have to show, show your mother that test. Maria, I have to. We had a deal. School always comes first. I can't believe I failed my test. Well, maybe, maybe your mom won't find out. How can she not find out? I'm pretty sure my teacher's going to email her. And mom has to sign my test, too. I can't believe it. This is the first time I failed at anything. What do you mean? You tried out for the choir a few years ago and didn't get it. Maria, this isn't funny, okay? I don't know what to do. Be honest with, with your mom. She'll respect you for it. Yeah, I guess so. Well, look, I gotta get to cheerleading practice. I'll see you later. Bye. I'll call you if I'm allowed to use the phone. Okay. See ya. Bye. <sighs> hey. Hey. Are you okay? What makes you think I'm not okay? The look on your face. I've known you my whole life. I know when something's wrong. <sighs> if I tell you, will you keep it between us? Yeah. I'll do anything for you to tell me about your teenage life. Melody, if you're gonna be funny, then I'm not gonna tell you. I I'm sorry. What's wrong? I failed my science test. Really? You never fail any test. I know. And I'm afraid Mom's gonna make me quit my job. I mean, I promised Mom that I would be more responsible and get my grade up. But I didn't have time to study. I was so busy working. You gotta tell Mom. Yeah. I guess I should tell her before my teacher emails her again. I mean, maybe she'll be less hard on me if, if I'm honest with her before she gets the email. You know, you're a lot more clever than you let on. Thanks, I guess. Girls, I'm home. Oh my God, Mom's really early. Are you going to talk to her? I'm going to talk to her. But at least give us privacy. Yeah, I was going to stay in here. Here goes. <sighs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Can I talk to you? Sure, honey. Mom. Before you get angry, oh, I hate conversations that start like that. Yeah, um, you know what I like best about you? What is it? Your forgiving nature? Okay, what did you do? Here goes. I figured I should tell you this before you get an email from my teacher. Tell me what... Did you fail your science test? Mom, I'm sorry. I, I was so busy with everything that I didn't have time to study for my science test. Cheyenne, you should have came to me and told me what was going on. I know. I just wanted to prove to you that I could be responsible and earn my own money and... Well, that's all out the window now. We agreed that you would be more responsible, and this was the least responsible thing you could have done. I know. I'm sorry. But... I, I'm just, Cheyenne, you're going to have to quit your job and no hanging out in the, at the mall or going on your computer or, or watching TV until you pull up that grade. Okay? Fine. I guess I'll go back to being a kid again. Cheyenne, there was nothing wrong with being a kid. You should enjoy it. 
You have the rest of your life to become an adult. Well, I guess being an adult means walking like a dog. Then, then I guess I could handle being a kid a little longer. <laughs> and in case I forgot to mention it, you are, you are a great kid. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. Yeah, and you'll love me even more after I ask you what I'm about to ask you. What's that? Do you think you could increase my allowance? Nice try. Yeah, it was worth the shot. I better go uh, do my science homework. All right, off you go.